All right, so let's take a look at another optimization problem. Uh, I've got several I'm going to work. Uh, you can you can find them all in the my derivatives playlist on my channel. So check those out. All right, so let's take a look at this one. It says if 1,200 square centimeters of material is available to make a box with a square base and open top find the largest possible volume of the box. Alright, so we want to write down the information that they give us and then we want to write down what they either want us to maximize or minimize. In this case we want to maximize because we want to find the largest possible volume. Alright, so first let's just go ahead and make a picture of the box. Alright, so let's label the base X and we'll label this X. We know these are the same because it says a square base. And then we'll label this the height H. Alright, so let's see, what do they give us? They give us the amount of material. They tell us 1200 square centimeters. So that's the, that's the sides and the bottom. Okay, there's no top. It says it's an open top. All right, so we know that the 1,200 square centimeters, that's the surface area. So it's the area of the bottom, which is x times x. Okay, so that's going to give us x squared for the bottom, plus the surface area for the sides, the front, and the back. All right, well, this dimension is x, this dimension is h, so this is going to be x times h, so we've got x times h, and then look, this length and this length here, that's x, this is h, that's the height, so there's another x times h, and then this side here, well, that length is x, the height is h, so the area of this is x times h, and then the back, this is x, the height is h, so that's x times h. So we've got this side, this side, the back, and then the front. So there's four of them. So that's going to be 4xh. All right. So there's, that's the information that they give us. Now let's write down what we want to maximize. Well, that's the volume. Well, remember the volume is length times width times height. So x times x is x squared times the height is h. Alright, so I wanna I wanna maximize this. Well, so I'm gonna need to take the derivative. Okay, well, but before I do that I wanna get everything in terms of x. So let's solve this for h and then I can plug it into here. So I get 1200 minus x squared equals 4xh and then I can divide everything by 4x. Okay. Alright. So that's going to give me h is equal to 300 over x minus x over 4. So that's h. So I'm going to take this, va this value of h, what h equals, and I'm going to plug it into here. So I get the volume is x squared times h, and in the place of h I'll put this, so that's 300 over x minus x over 4. And then I'll distribute the x so the volume is 300x minus 1 fourth x cubed. So there's my function for the volume. So I want to take the derivative, get my critical number. So, so the volume, or V prime I mean, is 300 minus 3 fourths x squared. 
So we set this equal to zero. So I get 300 minus 3 fourths x squared equals zero. So 300 equals 3 fourths x squared. And then I'll multiply everything by 4 thirds to get the x by itself. And so I get x squared is equal to, and that is going to give me 400. See, the, see this? The 3 and the 300 cancel. I'm left with 100. 4 times 100 is 400. So that's x squared. So that tells me that x is equal to plus or minus 20. Well, I know that x is going to equal 20. I know the, the length of the side cannot be negative. Okay? And, and look, and I can come up here and, and we can just do this real quick. There's 20. Okay, so we'll pick x equal 19, x equal 21. And if we plug the 19 into here, I'm not going to do it, but you can plug that in and you can see that I'll get a, uh, a positive answer. So that means here it'll be increasing and then if I plug the 21 in I'll get a negative number so you can see that would be decreasing and there's your maximum there. Okay. Alright so I've got X which is the length of the this side and this side and now I need H. So H is equal to this. So that's going to be 300 over x. Well, what's x? x is 20, okay, minus 20 over 4. And so h is going to be 15 minus 5, which equals 10. And both of these dimensions are centimeters, okay? So let's look and see what they wanted to find find the largest possible volume. So they actually want the volume of the box. Well, I've got the x dimension and the h dimension that makes the volume a maximum. And so that is going to give me the volume is going to be x squared, so that's 20 squared times h, which is 10. And so the maximum volume is going to be 4,000 cubic centimeters. All right. So I hope the video helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.